She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing the ABG transformation. But before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you guys. We have reached 100K on this channel and it just happened really recently. I woke up to 100K, so that's uh, all thanks to you guys. And I just wanted to come on camera and just say thank you because it didn't feel right for me to like film a video and not say anything because it's a really big deal to me. I did make a post on my community tab page so I kind of spewed my emotions on that post but I just wanted to come in person or come in video and say thank you so so much. It truly means the world to me. But okay, uh, I don't know how to transition to the purpose of this video but today we are going to be doing the ABG transformation. So ABG stands for Asian baby girl or Asian boss girl, according to Helen, Mel, and Janet. Their podcast, Asian Boss Girl, is one of my favorite podcasts. Check it out if you haven't already. Really relatable for an Asian woman. So according to Urban Dictionary, ABG is a special type of Asian girl who enjoys going to clubs, partying and drinking with friends, loves to get boba and shop, usually an Instagram model, influencer or bartender. Looks exactly like Dream America on Twitch. Don't know who that is. So you might have seen this video trend go around. I believe Michelle Choi was the first person to start this ABG transformation. I also saw Sarah, Tina and Hannah's video. I'll link all those videos down below. I'm pretty sure you've already seen them. I grabbed a lot of criteria from their videos and I'm going to apply it to my video. So let's go through the checklist first and this checklist is literally the same checklist that Tina has. Again, I'll link her video down below. But the first thing on the checklist is long coffin nails. I just put these press on nails last night and these are just from Kiss. It's their Gel Fantasy Amazing Volume Look Ultra Smooth Shine. There isn't a shade name on it, but um, it's like this light baby pink and I haven't used press on nails since I was a kid and actually these are pretty good. They don't look that bad. Like they look actually really good considering I did it myself, you know. They were super long. I did cut them a lot. But anyway, the nails. I check. The second thing on the checklist is contact lenses and I already did put my lenses on. Today I'm wearing the Lens Town Lightly Lily in Mary Brown. They are a little bit enlarging. They are like a light hazel brown so I thought it would be a nice contact to wear for today's look. Third thing on the checklist in regards of makeup, apparently it has to be very intense with strong brows and a smoky eye, a wing, pretty much just my normal makeup that I usually do so that won't be too hard for us. Fourth on the list is tattoos. I actually don't have any tattoos but I did buy these temporary tattoos from my local dollar store and honestly they're not the cutest. I mean they're okay but like all of them is different. I don't know how I'm gonna make all of these work and they're like all different thickness as well but I got four of them and they were like a dollar each. And number five on the checklist is piercings. So I do have a couple of piercings. I have three on this side, four on this side. I just got my cartilage pierced like two weeks ago on my birthday but I will take these like little pearls out and maybe put in hoops. And the next thing on the checklist is to wear tight slash exposing clothes. And the last thing on the list is bubble tea, boba, wherever you are and what you call it just pearls. Yes. I'm gonna ask my boyfriend to head out later and grab me my little drink. But yeah, that is pretty much the checklist. So let's just go ahead and get started with our makeup first. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my primer slash sunscreen. This one is from Supergoop. It's their Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. I actually haven't used the sunscreen in a while just because we have been in quarantine but now that in New Zealand we are in level one and quarantine is pretty much over. Everything has reopened. I've been wearing my sunscreen again. This sunscreen is hella expensive so I don't want to like waste it. And for foundation I'm going in with my ultimate favorite. This one is the Urban Decay or Nighter foundation in 4.0. Amazing coverage and it's just the best foundation for me personally. And I'm gonna take this Kaleidos sponge. It's one of their new sponges. I've been testing it out for the past couple of days. 
Then I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. I am going to use this and conceal pretty much my entire face. I'm gonna place this under my eyes and over any scarring that I have and where I just need a little bit more coverage. And I'm just gonna use that same sponge to blend that out. Next, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter and I'm going to use this to set under my eyes because I do have a lot of fine lines underneath my eyes so I need to set my concealer in place so it does not crease. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. We're also just going to use this powder to set our T-zone as well. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to me. I'm going to take a bit of my AOA Perfect Finishing Press Powder in the shade Sand just to set the outer rim of my face. I'm going to use a bit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to set in that powder. Now moving on to the brows, I'm going to make my brow shape a little bit more arched and pointy rather than a straight brow that I have been doing more recently. So I'm just taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black and I'm just going to go underneath my brow and just create the shape that I want. And I'm just going to take my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Dark Brown to fill in my brows. All right, so my brows are now on and they look pretty strong, pretty intense. I don't know, they kind of look like how my brows normally look, but I'm gonna move into eyeshadow now. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadow in the shade Pumpkin Pie. I'm gonna go in with this shade here as my transition shadow. I'm also going to take that same shadow onto my lower lash line as well and I'm just going to smoke this out all over the lower lash. Then I'm going to take the dark brown over here and I'm going to start packing this onto my lid. I'll pack this onto my lid space first to get the most pigmentation and darkness and then I'll slowly blend that up into the transition shadow. And then I'm also going to take the dark brown shadow onto my lower lash line as well, but I'm only going to press it up against my waterline. So that is pretty much it for eyeshadow. I'm just going to leave it like this, just all matte, no shimmer. I'm now going to go into eyeliner. I'm taking the UZU Mont Liner in Black to give myself a dramatic wing. I did recently just upload a winged liner tutorial, so if you guys want to check that out and um, learn the in-depth steps that I do, then you can check that video out somewhere here. I'm going to take this brown eyeliner from Odyssey in and I'm going to use this to tight line my bottom waterline. Alright, so now it's time to prep the lashes. It is just a must to apply false lashes. And for today's falsies, I'm going to go in with the Petite Cosmetics Lux Foam Mink Lash in the style Diva. They are pretty full all around and it's pretty dense. I love wearing these lashes when I wear an intense smoky eye. So these are the lashes I'm going to go in with today. I'm going to give my lashes a good curl. And I'm gonna apply the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. Her, 
So now that our eyes are done, we're gonna move back onto the face. I'm gonna bronze up my skin. I'm taking my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm taking this shade here. It is called Tan. I'm actually just gonna go in with a little bit of my Fenty powder from before and taking the flat edge of the sponge. I'm gonna just use this to sort of clean up that area. I know it's like really intense, but it makes your cheeks pop out more. And then I'm just gonna dust that off. From the same palette, I'm gonna take this shade here called Sculpt and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. I just go down the sides. I don't really know if it makes that much of a difference, but I feel like to me, I see a difference. So I always have to do this. <laughs> And for blush, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Grow Flirt. I'm gonna use the bottom of the sponge and then I'm just gonna apply that to the tops of my cheeks. And for highlighter, I'm taking the Kaleidos Ray Rider Highlight and we're just gonna apply this to the tops of our cheeks. We're gonna put this on my nose. And then on my brow bone and in the corners. And lastly for lip color, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Luxe Velvet Lip in the shade Room Service. This is like a nice terracotta nude. So I got this new gloss from ALF. It's their lip lacquer in the shade Moody. I love the name, Judy Moody. I love it. Um, and it's new and I haven't used it before. So I want to try it on top of this lip color. I think it will pair really well. But with these nails, I can't peel anything. Oh, that's like a perfect match. Okay, so makeup is done. I just told Harry to go pick up my drink. So that will be here soon. I'm gonna now do my hair. I think I'll just straighten my hair because I feel like when I curl my hair, it gives me more of like a girly vibe. And I don't know, from all the ABG looks that I saw, it's like really badass kind of vibe, you know? And I feel like with straighter hair, it gives me more of that vibe. All right, so my hair is now straight in. I think maybe I'll do something like this, like with one side down. Maybe, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go get changed to my tight exposed clothes <laughs> and then I'll be right back. I decided to wear this top. It's from Hello Molly. Uh, Tina and Sarah wore similar tops, so I thought I would wear this one, although it's not really that exposing. Now, what's left? I think I'll just take out my first piercing and just switch it out for hoops. It's hard to take earrings out with these nails. And then once the earrings are in, we wait for the boba and then this look will be complete. These are like my biggest hoops. I don't even wear them anymore. <laughs> wow, they're so big. Oh my gosh, my whole hand. Does this scare you guys? It scares me, sorry. I don't know why I thought jewelry was the last step. I didn't even put the tattoos on and they were like literally right in front of me. But last step before the boba is the fake tattoos. Like some of them is thin, some of them is thicker. So I don't really know, but I like this dragon one. So yeah, we'll, <laughs> I literally have not put on these fake tattoos since I was a kid. I haven't put fake nails on since I was a kid. Was I an ABG when I was a kid? Okay, I look completely naked. There's another strap here. I'm not naked. Ah. Oh, it looks like glad wrap. I 
see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands Seen you from around the way You didn't give me the time of day You be making moves that you Who really care what Simon say All the bad things girl I had to look at I'm gonna put some powder on top And see Cause it just looks so shiny Alright you guys, so this is the full ABG transformation. We did the makeup, the hair, the jewelry, the tattoo, the nails, and we got the drink as well. So we did the entire transformation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. I would appreciate it so much if you did. Also let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I personally feel like I don't look that different because this makeup is what I normally do. It's just I have some shiny fake tattoos on my shoulder but let me know what you guys think down below thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye